And the search for members of the jury continues well away from that, but still within the judicial service. The wearing of wigs, gowns, collars, bibs, and other dress codes for lawyers is killing many of them uh, and, and the judges slowly. Well, prominent law lecturer Professor Raymond Atiguba has described as absurd the insistence for lawyers to wear wigs, gowns, and the collars, and etc. Professor Atiguba claims that prescribed attire is killing many of the lawyers and the judges slowly, considering the heat in many courtrooms and the general hot weather conditions in the country. He was speaking at a lecture at the University of Cape Coast from where correspondent Richard Kojonyako reports. Speaking on the topic ethics and the law at the memorial lecture organized by the Law Students Union of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Atuguba called for a change in the way things are done in the judiciary to respond to the changing needs of society. According to him, the countries Ghana inherited a legal system from are even changing the way things are done and Ghana should learn from such practices. He is convinced the wearing of collars, bibs, wigs and gowns as dress coats have serious repercussions. He compared the temperature of Ghana to that of Britain and outlined the dangers associated with the uniform. Last year, barristers and judges were allowed to ditch their traditional gowns and wigs because Britain experienced its hottest day for 40 years. The temperature in question was 34 degrees Celsius, 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Today's temperature in Cape Coast is supposed to be to hit a high of 31 degrees Celsius, which is 87 degrees Fahrenheit, a literal seven degrees of separation, thanks to the rains yesterday night. Sometimes the temperature in Ghana exceeds 40 degrees Celsius. So the people who gave us the wig and gown are afraid to keep it on in temperatures that we endure every day. Yet, the leaders of our fraternity have ordered that we continue to row, leaving us open to heat strokes, mental fatigue, and all sorts of avoidable taxes on our bodies and minds. Professor Raymond Atuguba expressed surprise at the silence of senior lawyers about the massive failures of students of law at the Ghana Law School. He believes radical steps should be adopted to improve legal education in the country. For as long as the judiciary, the judicial council, the general legal council, the board of legal education, and kindred bodies continue to usurp the function of we the people, a growing gulf will grow between law and justice in the court halls and law and justice in the byways. It is time for the legal fraternity to lead the charge in shedding the practices and procedures in our civil litigation process that are not consistent with the needs and circumstances of Ghanaians. Richard Kwejo Joy News, Cape Coast.